What's happening, people? We're back here once again on Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts. And I've decided to stay up late. I literally start work in about, uh, well, I've got to be up for work in about five hours to do the breakfast show. However, this one has literally just landed. The sounds of WizKid made in Lagos, the deluxe edition. This one going by the name of Mood featuring Buju. Now, I've seen this one advertised. Obviously, he released the track listing uh, recently. And obviously, a lot of the followers on this channel uh, kind of came about through doing reactions to Made in Lagos and similar projects so this is a big one to do i had to stay up to make sure we do do it this evening um as always friends if you are interested make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page get involved in the channel uh, of course uh sub turn notifications on leaving a like leave a comment all that good stuff as you can tell i'm slightly fried slightly tired because i've been up for a long period of time today but i'm very excited to get into this one so please do remember there will be a lot of cuts and pauses we're going to assess the tune as much as we possibly can breaking down the production breaking down the vocal performance uh, there's no video to assess so just breaking down the technical of the musicality behind the tune. I'm very excited to get into this one, so without further ado, let's go. Mm. Alright then. So right from the off, we're going for a very kind of almost post-funk kind of influenced uh, sort of sound with this one. That sort of gliding guitar starting us off very, very nicely. The general sound of the tune is very smooth, as the majority of Made in Lagos actually is. Uh, similar to No Stress in the kind of uh, kind of brightness and uplifting nature of the intro. Let's go, I'm excited. Oh, I'm in a big mood. God, I feel you. Something wake up cool in my body. All right then. This sounded like a bit of a banger, isn't it? Oh my word. Uh, Budju alongside WizKid kicking off this one in style. Uh, the kind of swing on this one, there's a tune it really, really reminds me of, and it's going to come back to me. Um, but it's just got an, almost like an R&B kind of feel to it, you know, obviously over the sort of Afrobeat rhythms, but it's got a kind of a, a kind of R&B-ish style swing to the way the vocals sung. Really, really spicy intro. Mm. Yeah. There's something so summery about this sound. And you know, the maddest thing is, obviously, this is the deluxe version of Made in Lagos. So we're going to hear some similarities in the production, presumably. But this is so cohesive when you compare it to a lot of the different tracks we've already heard on the original version of Made in Lagos. It's almost just adding like a couple of booster packs. It's like DLC for the album rather than taking it somewhere it shouldn't be. It's a really nice addition, sonically. So, yeah. Mm. That's a really nice piece of layering going on with the vocal on this one as well. I'm going to be pausing a lot on this tune, people. There's always a lot to break down on new WizKid bits. Um, really, really nice layering going on with the vocals. I don't know if you can hear, but there's maybe two or three layers going on with that one. They're very subtly layered, so they're adding extra texture. They're adding extra kind of vibrancy and kind of they're, they're widening the vocal without naturally chorusing it, which works really, really nicely. Again, I'm in a big mood. Is there anyone in the world that can arrive on a tune the way Wizkid does? I genuinely don't think there is. Just with that instant impact, the recognizability of his tonality, the way he uses uh, the kind of electronic side of kind of effects and stuff to make his vocal sound so clean but not too processed to enjoy. He's just got such a way of introducing himself, man. He does it every single time. Mm. Just a little note as well. On the production, again, very, very simple. I mentioned earlier it sounded quite similar to No Stress. Um, again, that similarity is still kind of there. Very kind of bulbous bass line below 808 kind of uh, 808 uh, bass drums kind of doing the majority of the work. Goes... Uh, kind of taking the lead in regards to bass lines. The kind of a very kind of extended um, organ chords taking a lead role as well. Just in general, it's so smoothly put together. Mm. Just the rhythm on it as well. Um, it's one, you know what it is as well? One of those tunes that you just find yourself dipping to. You know, if there's, there's such a, in the way the rhythms have been used, there's such a natural dip in its kind of layout, in the way the tune moves. It's like. And the way the uh, the bass melodies kind of ascend and descend, they make you move up and down. They make you dip and weave. It's just genius on a production level. Obviously, Wiz is going over the top and doing what Wiz does. There's only so many times I can say how good Wiz is at finding the pockets within rhythms, you know? Mm. There's such a... 
kind of summery flavor about this one as well you know the way the the sort of subtle guitar lines are coming in in the background those that were like do, 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 do. they're just so uh they, i'm just seeing sepia and sunrises in the background if i was going to look at it from a synesthetic point of view the, the just the way it sounds is beautiful um and i really like the fact that buju kind of starts to tune off he then does the first verse it then cuts into a bit of whiz kid and then we get back into this really really catchy hook i'm excited to see where this one goes there's still a, a fair amount of time left and a lot's already happened very subtly going on in the background as well hearing those really subtle uh ad libs as well they're adding something really really nice again the entire kind of genius of this type of tune for me is when you make subtlety sound so um kind of all-encompassing like it sounds like there's loads going on at the same time it sounds really stripped back it's finding that balance between uh overcompensating uh your composition with extra elements and keeping it stripped back so there's enough room for stuff to breathe this is that perfect really thin little kind of line in the middle of those two things we know they might be just come your mind out that little um that little organ line in the background that little like it's again it's really subtle i was literally just saying this there's so much subtlety in the instrumentation that you kind of almost miss these little skits that are going on throughout the tune um and it, it's brilliant wiz is finding the pockets perfectly as well he's almost growing into the tune for me as it goes but just in general the production value on this as i said before it's so sonically similar to what we heard on made in lagos uh in particular uh no stress for me which was which was my, my favorite probably my favorite tune on the album if i'm being entirely honest it's just so well done there's so much thought and care gone into making it a part of a product that already exists rather than just slapping a few extra bits on there you know mm. it's wicked man again the the kind of the transitions on this tune are awesome as well something i noticed again a regular theme when we were reviewing a lot of the tunes on made in lagos was there was such a natural sense of transition within the tunes they grew with you you grew into them they grew into themselves it never felt like a tune was getting old or getting boring it was just constantly growing and expanding and we're hearing that now those transitions um going into the hooks have got more and more apparent each time we've heard whiz kids slowly getting more and more involved in sort of ad-libbing with the hooks there's different melodies floating in there's different kind of riffs floating in on the different instruments it's just constantly growing and it's been really well cared for i feel as an instrumental mm. see this bit this is the bit that in the uh this little section here where the vocals kind of strip back a little bit more this is the section where we're going to hear some crazy crazy dj blends because that's the section where the vocals kind of disappear there's a bit more space to bring something else in that's the point of, in, i feel where a lot of club djs are going to be chopping this tune in and out of um in and out of transition essentially but i don't know why i've only noticed that on this one i don't tend to notice that point but i guarantee you when you go out and hear this tune hear this tune banging which is going to be banging that'll be the point at which things start to switch around mm. there we go um loved it absolutely loved it sounds of buju alongside Wizkid on this one mood uh, obviously off the made in lagos deluxe edition it's literally just landed we stayed up very late to make sure we got this one done tonight hence the video being slightly longer i'm moving i'm talking a little bit slower um i'm quite tired myself i'm gonna edit this tonight and get it up on the channel tonight um but i absolutely love this one the thing that i loved the most was how it was so sonically similar to the rest of the original made in lagos track listing this sounds like it could have been on the original project and, it, and i'd have just been like oh i must have missed it because it's it fits into that track listing so well so i've got to say hats off to wiz um i'm very sure this deluxe edition is going to bring even more light to what for me is one of the strongest projects i've heard in the last 10 years like without even exaggerating just the consistency of made in lagos it is that project um and yeah absolutely loved it so there we go if you did enjoy this reaction video my friends make sure you are getting involved with the channel by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page obviously turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment letting me know what your favorite track off the project um is off the deluxe edition uh, i'm definitely going to be reacting to a couple of other tunes on there as well and please do remember you can catch me every single morning monday to friday 7 till 10 in the a.m over on trickstar radio on my uh, breakfast show presented for a day job we play all sorts of genres on the show i choose what we play so please do come and get involved you can download the trickstar radio app from the app store and google play but that's it from me and we'll see you all next time peace oh, oh, sound, so good right now by the sun in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cop Camp TV. Stay locked.